<laughs> but uh, I don't know. And I'll tell you something. When I have time, like I did yesterday, to sit and watch television, things begin to disturb me because I have time to think. Uh -oh. If you keep me busy... You're not disturbed. I'm not disturbed. <laughs> I'm watching Channel 4 News, and they say to me, uh, coming up later in the show, Yoko Ono. Yoko Ono will be on the news. All right, you got me. I'll, I'll stay tuned for Yoko Ono. All right. That's I'm what not you going. have to say to you. That's it. Yoko Ono. <laughs> Your two, what are those two friggin' words, Yoko Ono? Staying right here. I said, okay, I'm going to watch. Why not? I haven't heard from her in a while. Let me, let me see what's going on. So Sue Simmons is interviewing Yoko Ono. It's toward the end of the show. Yoko Ono has produced a Broadway, off-Broadway play, yeah. an opera. You can imagine. And while they're interviewing Yoko, you can see in the background they're rehearsing. And if you could have heard the music they were singing, <laughs> you would have thrown up. Is it Yoko's music? It's Yoko's music. She wrote the opera. You never heard. I mean, and they're all singing like Yoko. <laughs> I got to see that. You, I, we're going to oh. go together. I got to go see this oh, opera before. My goodness. I got to see it. Yeah. I got to see it. Before I got to see it. Before it closes, we got to get I got to see this opera of Yoko Ono. Youch. Youch. <laughs> Youch is right. So Sue Simmons says to her, you know, Yoko is focused. She wants to talk about her opera. And Sue Simmons, of course, doesn't want to talk about the opera. So she says to her, Yoko, what about this Beatles reunion? Now, this Yoko can't answer a question straight. I don't know what planet she's on. With all, her, with all that John Lennon money, she hasn't learned a damn thing. And it still doesn't know English. Still doesn't know English. <laughs> and she, you know what? She's the world's worst interview. And I'll tell you why. She can't answer a question, this Yoko. And she wants to be a, a scholar. She wants to be profound. Mm -hmm. She wants to answer these questions. She avoids every question. Every question is too important. And she can't comment on it. But she always gives you some kind of uh, answer that's, that's very uh, heady. You know, it's very... Uh, very vague, but like Confucius. I think she thinks she's Confucius now. She <laughs> says, she said, well, what about the Beatles getting together? She goes, the future holds many mysteries, Sue. Oh, she's a fortune cookie. And this is what makes the future so great, <laughs> that it is unknown. But it, I swear to you, I'm quoting her. She's Confucius's sister, the confusion. <laughs> you, you had to hear this answer. She th and, and, and she goes, and Sue Simmons says, well, if there's a Beatles reunion, what about your son, uh, Sean or Julian, taking John's place? Oh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> These matters are not of this world. You know, I mean, she goes into an explanation because she don't want to answer. She wants to be vague about everything. Everything is an important negotiation with her. First of all, what she has to do with the Beatles, I don't know. Yeah. Why she's being asked about the Beatles still it drives me crazy. I don't know. I, somehow or other, I think she has something to do with everything that involves the name The Beatles. Yeah, and she really has no right to it. It makes me ill. <laughs> I really wish she wouldn't even say it. I mean, Sean Lennon, what has he got to do with The Beatles? And she wants to be profound. Yoko, I ask you a question. Are The Beatles getting back together again? A stitch in time... We'll always save nine. Come here, you bitch. Uh. I ask you a question. You had to hear this interview. Makes me crazy. <laughs> well, you've always been a big Yoko fan. <laughs> and I'm talking to a friend of mine yesterday. You see, I had too much free time yesterday. Talking to a friend of mine yesterday, bright guy, someone whose uh, opinion I respect. And he says, you know, I went to the movies. I couldn't get into the movie I wanted to see, so I went to see this uh, Luke Perry movie. Eight seconds. Eight seconds with the uh, bullfighting or whatever the hell he does. Rodeo. Rodeo. Bull riding. Bull riding. Oh, yeah. He says, you know, it's a pretty good movie. You know, for, for not being a huge movie of the year or anything, Luke Perry was good. The photography was good. The acting was good. Mm -hmm. And it was a pretty good story. I don't know if you saw this or no, not. I haven't, I haven't seen it. Yet. I haven't seen it either. So, but it was, a pr it was a pretty darn good movie for a movie that's not considered like an A movie. Yeah. Or B movie was damn good. So, um, then I turn on the news, and the only thing I see about this movie is that the animal rights people are protesting this movie because bull riding is bad for kids to see. Something like that. They, they're, they're, I see they're all ho holding up signs, Luke Perry, shame on you. 
And I say to myself, this is a country where people are all eating steaks on a daily... They're eating these bulls and cows. Bull would prefer to be ridden. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think a bull would be happy to be ridden by Luke Perry for eight seconds. <laughs> Rather than be your meal. Shouldn't they be standing in front of a supermarket? I mean, if you really cared about animals, if you were that uptight about it? Jeez. It's... it's the whole country's nuts. Oh. Everybody wants to be famous. Everyone wants to get on TV for some stupid reason or another. Well, for all these people to be so much against fur, this weather <laughs> yeah. really brought them out. All I know is I was pretty jealous of uh, Sue Simmons the other night when she showed up in that warm-looking fur coat. <laughs> Seemed like a good reason to kill a few dogs. <laughs> I'm with you on that. I'm looking, I'm going, you know, I've been freezing because freezing I'm trying ass. to be correct. Leslie West wears a big fur coat, and I can see why. Suddenly those rodents don't matter a bit. You're damn right. Those are animals, and we're man, and God bless us. Hey, we need to be warm. All right. Now, I'm not done with my comments by any means. I have a... St Look how many comments I have, Rob. Oh, my. Stop it. That right, was from yesterday yes, alone. That is from yesterday alone. <laughs> so everybody just sit back and relax, because i got plenty to say. You want to talk to me? Uh, put the phone on hold. Because I am ready to, I, I, I am ready to have people listen. <laughs> it's rage. I'm now ready to speak. Right, it's rage Thursday. I'm like Minister Farrakhan. <laughs> I'm going to talk, and everyone's going to listen and applaud. So far, I've covered Frank Sinatra. Yes. Bullfighting. Yes. Yoko Ono. Yoko Ono, and Arab-Israeli relations. And uh, I'm not done. You didn't tell me when Yoko's opera is opening. As soon as it's opening, we're going to be there, you and me. <laughs> we got to be there at the debut. Opening night. Because you know it's not going to last long. <laughs> it's going to last exactly one show. <laughs> it's going to last as long as Yoko keeps financing it. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back after these words. Oh. <laughs>